Welcome to part 18 of building the Rick and Morty app series. In the last part, we started to put together these cells for the character details screen. We're gonna continue with this, particularly focusing on the info cells down here. So drop a like before we continue on, say hello in the comments and let's continue. So essentially what we're gonna do is twofold, right? Two things, we're gonna build out the view as well as tweak the view model to make it a little more type safe and a little more uh, useful to us. So what do we want in each of these cells for this info section? Well, I think it'd be nice if we had kind of like a like a title here at the bottom showing like what this card is for, and then maybe like the value here and the next to the value, maybe we even have like an image and that image will be dynamic based on the view model as well as have a variable tint color. So what I'll do first is I'll actually build out the view and then we're going to use our view model to configure it. So we have character details here under view already. So I am going to just open up the info collection view cell and we are going to build out what we need in here. So right off the bat, I mentioned we are going to want the title and uh, value labels. So I will first go and create those. We'll say private let. Uh, I'll call this a value label to make it a little more uh, descriptive in terms of what it is. Go ahead and create it in this anonymous closure pattern. We're basically just creating a label like we've done before. We're gonna be using constraints. So just make sure you go ahead and assign this property. And let me just actually go ahead and just copy and paste this. Here we're gonna have a title label and I'll copy and paste it once more and change this to a icon image view and i'm going to call this icon 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 image view just like that and just like that so let's add some starter text to each of these so we can see something so here we're going to say the value is going to be earth and maybe here the title is going to be location and then here for the icon, I think Earth is one of the icons. So I'm gonna go and say that UI image, one of the system icons, and it might be Earth or globe. Let's actually open up SF symbols and let's see if we can find it. So we're gonna say SF sim, SF, let's see if I spell it correctly. There we go, SF symbols should get this opened up. And I'm gonna search for Earth in here and we're gonna see if it does in fact exist. So yep, it looks like we do have a globe and then we also do have uh, globe.america. So it's not really earth, but let's actually use globe.americas here. So then we wanna actually add these to our content view. So I wanna go ahead and say add sub views, plural. We're gonna add the title label, the value label, as well as the icon image view. We're gonna to want to set up these constraints. So I'll call this function right here and that's where we're gonna actually apply our constraints. So we're gonna say layout constraints activates. We're gonna assign those in here. And then when we reuse the cell, we're gonna to want to just reset everything. So the text of our value label will be nil. The label, let's see, what is, what's the other one called? The title labels text is also gonna be nil. The icon image views image is going to be nil. And then here we'll want to configure. For now, I'm gonna, un, I'm gonna comment this out so we don't actually nil out the text. One thing that I do wanna call out here is it'd be nice if we had two shades of colors. So for example, maybe we had like the bottom, um, like maybe 30% a darker color so we can signify like a difference in like a container. So I am going to actually do that here. So here we're using tertiary background. Um, let's change this back to secondary and take a look at what this looks like. All right, so these are obviously way darker. We have our labels and stuff showing up. We haven't laid them out yet, but let's go ahead and actually add another view in here. I'm gonna call it the title container view. So this is just gonna be basically a UI view. Let me just create it by copy and pasting. This will be the title container view, and we'll just create it in here. Just make sure it's a UI view and just change your uh, change your uh, declarations here to be named appropriately. You could in theory leave it icon, but that's totally misleading, so don't do that. And instead of adding the title directly, we're gonna add the title container view here. And this title container view is going to actually add uh, a sub view, which will be the title label. And this container view is actually going to have its own background color. And maybe here we'll do tertiary system background. And you guys will see momentarily why I'm doing this in here. So let me go ahead and set up the 
title container view. So we're going to say title container views leading anchor. I'll say left anchor. It's a little more descriptive in terms of what it is. And this is going to be a constraint is what I'm looking for. This is going to be a constraint equal to the content views left anchor. And let me go ahead and copy and paste this here for the right anchor as well as the bottom anchor. And sometimes autocomplete really doesn't like to cooperate. So if you ever see me quickly undoing, that's basically what that is. Now the height of this is going to be um, something a little more interesting. We're gonna say this has a height anchor and this is going to be a constraint equal to something with a uh, multiplier. So we're gonna say this will be the same as a content views height. And let's say we only want this to be maybe like 33%, so like one third of the height, we're gonna say time 0 0.33, like so. And let's go ahead and give this a run and let's see what the color looks like, if it even shows up. So cool, so we have this lower third now and we can flip flop these colors if we'd like. I think it'd be nicer if the bottom color was the darker one and the larger part of the card was uh, the lighter one. So we'll change this here to be secondary system background and this one will be tertiary system background. There's also quaternary if you're uh, curious. And I think this looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and add some, um, add some constraints to all this stuff. So let's uh, come back to this uh, function here to set up constraints. Let's take care of this. So title label is going to have, let's try that again. We're gonna say left anchor is going to be a constraint equal to its parents. We're gonna say title container left anchor. And actually I'm just gonna pin this on all four sides to make our life easy. So we'll say right anchor, top anchor, We'll do bottom anchor here and respectively just go ahead and update these right anchor. And the difference with this label is we're going to go ahead and just center its content. So we're going to say text alignment will be centered. And I'm also going to go instead of font on this. So we'll say it'll be a system font of maybe size 20 and we're going to have a medium weight. And it's complaining because I presumably forgot a comma. Yep, I did in fact forget a comma. So let's add that there and give it a run. All right, so cool, we've got this here. It looks pretty cool. We just need to lay out the other two labels, uh, rather the other label and the icon up there. So let's go ahead and do that. And I guess I'm gonna try to get away with copy and pasting this. We're gonna change all of these here to be value label. And then we also wanna do the icon. So let me just go ahead and copy and paste this. And this is called, I believe icon image view is what I called it. So we'll say icon image view like so and let's go ahead and adjust all the constraints because these are totally not correct so for the icon we're gonna have actually a fixed width and height and I'm gonna have it be a square and maybe we'll go ahead and actually do something like 60 by 60 so here we're gonna say height anchor and this is going to be a constraint equal to a constant so let's do 70 let's see what that looks like and respectively, what we want to go ahead and do is actually copy and paste this. And here we're gonna have a width anchor. So now we have it as 70 by 70, looking good. And we want this to be maybe from the left, we want it to be like 20. And then from uh, the top, we also want it to be 20. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do the top. So we don't care about the um, right at the moment, we care about the top. So for this, from the top, we want this to be equal to the content views top anchor and maybe we'll add a constant of like 20 and we'll play with this and see what it looks like uh, similarly here we're going to want this to be content view uh, right anchor and we're going to add a constant of 20 again and then for the bottom anchor this one's going to be a little different this is going to be from the top of the title container with a constant of maybe negative 10. so again the bottom container is this dark rectangle we see down here and it actually looks like we wanna clip the edges of the cell because the bottom of this is not pointy, whereas the top of the cell is rounded. We'll do that in a second, but let me not get off track here. Now let's focus on the value label. So the left anchor of this is basically just going to be the icon image view left anchor. And we're gonna add maybe a margin of 10 points. The top anchor is going to be the same thing that we did up above. So content views top anchor with a constant of maybe 20. The right anchor will do momentarily as well. So let's go do that now actually. We'll just do this is gonna be the content views right anchor with a constant of maybe negative 10. And then we'll go ahead and do the bottom one, which I guess we'll do the same thing that we did here. This is going to be to the title containers, 
top anchor with a constant of negative 10. So let's give this a build and run. We did a lot of copy and pasting and editing, and let's see if I screwed this up. Okay, so I totally screwed this up. Let's figure out why our icon is A, obnoxiously big, and B, positioned really incorrectly. So let me comment out this stuff for a moment. Now let's focus on the icon. So we did a height and width, makes sense, we did 70. Let's make this 50, we want it to be a little bit smaller. The top anchor is the constraint for the content views top with a constant of 20, makes sense. This here should be the left anchor. The left of our icon should be from the left of the content view with a constant of 20. And I think bottom is actually looking pretty good. So let me go ahead and give this a build and run. And we should see this here. It looks like it's distorting our image. So we certainly want to come up here and take care of that by specifying a content mode on here. So we're gonna say the content mode is scale aspect fit such that we don't actually distort the image. And then on our entire cells content view layer, we're also gonna say masks to bounds is going to be true. And this will make sure that everything stays inside the rounded corners um, like so. So cool, so this icon looks pretty good. It's still a smidge large, I would say. So let's go ahead and maybe do like, we're gonna have to play with these numbers. Let's try 30 and 30. And from the top, I think 20 might be a little much actually. So what we'll go ahead and actually do is I'm just gonna say from the top, make this perhaps like maybe 15. And we don't probably actually need a bottom anchor, right? Because um, it'll just calculate where it should go relative to the top and left. Okay, so now we got rid of the bottom and it's too high up. So let me go ahead and actually change this now to be, let's do 25 and see what that looks like. And unfortunately, it is a little bit of trial and error when you're kind of doing this to yourself manually. You don't have like a design to go off of, um, which is fine. I think it's half the enjoyment of building something. So cool, it looks like 35 is actually appropriate. So I'm gonna uncomment this. The left of our value label should be from the right of our icon plus a margin, so we're saying 10. Now, the right of the label should be from the right of our content view, negative 10 as margin. The top of our value label should be from the top of the container, but we're gonna have the exact same margin, so 35. And then the bottom, I guess we don't necessarily need this, but I guess I'll leave it here. So we'll say this will be to the top anchor, negative 10. So let's go ahead and give this a build and run and let's see if that value is appropriately positioned. So much better, but I think what's going on here is the fact that because this label is being stretched, let me go ahead and set a background color on it. Because it's being stretched vertically, the text is vertically centered in here, which is why it looks kind of off, which is not quite what we want. So instead of actually having a bottom anchor here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna give it a fixed height. And by doing so, we don't need to specify that bottom anchor because we know exactly where the end of this uh, label is going to be. So I made it 30 there, let's see what that looks like. All right, I think that looks pretty good. If we get rid of the color, uh, maybe we can actually move it like a smidge down and to the left. Um, and we probably wanna increase the font size there as well. So let me get rid of the color here. And I'm gonna move this like maybe one or two points down. So we'll do maybe like 36 for my OCD. And then I'll come up here and for the value label, if I can find where I threw it, I think it's up here. We're gonna set a font on it as well. We'll say font is going to be system font with a size of maybe, maybe we'll do 18 here. And here we're gonna go ahead and do light for the font weight. All right, I think it looks pretty good. We could actually probably even make it a bit bigger. So let's try like 22 um, and see what that looks like. We just wanna be mindful of line wrapping since this will truncate the text. So I think that looks better. Um, but as we add in obviously different data, we'll have to see like what, what we need to do to adjust it. So let's see how we're doing on time. We're at about 15 minutes. So I guess we've now designed the cell. In the next video, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll actually adjust our view model to pass in the appropriate stuff. So thanks for watching. Drop a like before clicking away. I'll see you in part 19.